<clears throat> okay, so lastly here, we've been talking about one gene can be the instructions for one trait, like in blood type. Uh, we talked about how one gene can have lots of effects, like in the case of uh, a mutation to the gene controlling growth hormone leading to gigantism. And But uh, the last sort of complication or scenario is that actually many genes are necessary for one trait. So <clears throat> this is when you see one example of this would be skin color, eye color, okay, and lots of behavioral things. Okay, and so what you'll notice about that's characteristic of these traits, we call these polygenic, poly meaning many, genic genes, so many genes, polygenic. And what you'll notice is that these traits, you can't fit them in several discrete categories. So there are what we call continuous variation. So like if you look at human skin color, you can't put it in two or three neat phenotypic categories. Um, you have basically a huge range and that's owing to the fact that all of these different genes combining together. So for example, you can imagine uh, you know, an individual, if we've got just three different genes that are possible with even just simple dominance, we're not even getting too complicated with incomplete dominance or multiple alleles or anything like that, but just with three different genes of which there are two different phenotypes. If there's two different phenotypes for this gene, two for this gene, two for this gene, that's going to give us a total of two times two times two equals eight different phenotypes that are possible. And that's sort of the simplest scenario and that's only with three genes. So if we have more genes than that uh, and we have incomplete dominance, codominance, multiple alleles, uh, this number can get much higher. Okay, so like if we look over here, um, so human skin color is a good example of this, and so we've got uh, all these different traits here, these three different genes related to melanin production. So this is the normal distribution that you should all be intimately familiar with. Um, and that's also a characteristic of polygenic traits here.